If these questions are out of line, then just disregard them, and I won't feel bad about it, for I will know it was not the hand of the Lord. Question number one. Brother Branham, I have heard you uh, that it should should be back in the... And I, I, I have heard you say I should be back in the ministry, and I have thought upon it myself, but have waited upon some definitely word from him about it. Up to date, it hasn't come. Now, since I know the end is so near, should I still wait for the Lord Jesus to, to speak to me, or would he be pleased to tell you what to tell me, since I know you are his spokesman for this day? Well, now, a brother, I'd, um, I got wrote down here my answer to it. Uh, God calling this brother a call in life. Now, there's one great thing. We could just take that as a text and preach all night on it, see? That one thing. A calling. Make your calling and election sure, see? We don't want to be just wondering if we're called. You must be called or you'll be defeated. We're fighting a battle. See? And uh, if you are positive sure, brother, that your calling is of God, and you've been called of God to do a work, now, there's a great trick there that the enemy can play on you. He can make you think you're not called when you are called. Then he turn right back around and make you think you're not called, or make you think you, you are called when you're not called. Vice versa, either way. And you have to watch it. Now, here's the way to do it. Find out first. But I, this is advice. The only thing I can give on this is advice. See? But make sure that your calling comes from God, and then check your motives and objectives. See? Now, you know what I mean by that. What is your motive for preaching? Was it just you think it's an easier job than what you have? And you better forget it. It wasn't a call. A call of God burns so in your heart you can't rest day and night for it. You just can't get away from it. It's just constantly grinding at you. And, and if you had to preach, you say, well, now, another objective. I believe it's the job I've got. If I could be a successful evangelist or a pastor, have a good set salary, have a home that I could go into and so forth and live, then I, I believe that would be a good thing much easier than what I'm doing now. And really, I think it would be, now, see, your objective is wrong to begin with. See, it's not right. See, you, you're wrong there on that. Then uh, you'd say, well, uh, maybe because that I am, um, uh, think maybe that I'd be more popular amongst the people. See, you'll find out you're just ready for a big flop. <laughs> really, see. But now, if your objective is that I don't care if I have to eat soda crackers and bran drink branch water, I'll preach the gospel anyhow. Something is tearing into you, I'll either preach the gospel or die. See, then you, you go somewhere because... It's God dealing with you. God is making himself known to you because it is God just won't let you rest. And usually, a God-called man never wants to do it. Did you ever think of that? Any man just recently is asked to me by some very precious brethren that uh, said, now that we have come into the way, Brother Branham, now that we've found the Lord and received the Holy Ghost, shall we... Uh, Seek gifts for our ministry that we should do. I said, don't never do it. See, don't never advise people to do something like that. Because usually a guy that wants to do it is a guy that, that can't do it. It's a guy that's trying to run from it is the one that God uses. See, if he's trying to get away from it, oh, brother, I tell you, I, the calling's in me, but I, man, I hate to try that. Uh, there you are, see. That, that's trying to run. If, he's, if he wants to do it so bad, the first thing you know, he finds himself a stuffed shirt. Like you say, God, you give me power to move mountains. I tell you, I'll do something for you if you let me move mountains. No, he wouldn't. He can't even move himself to the right attitude, see? So he'd never move mountains for God. Just take, for instance, like Paul. You think Paul could have got away from his calling? Oh, brother. He couldn't do it. He was just grinding at him day and night till he left his church. He left everything and, and went out into, I believe it was Asia, wasn't it? And stayed three years down there studying the scriptures to find out whether it was right or not. See, 
to find out whether God had really called him. So if God is calling you, brother, and he keeps digging at your heart, then I'd say I'll lay aside every weight and the sin that has easily beset you. you if, but if it's not digging at you, and then um, I, I, I wouldn't think too much about it. And just let it come to his faith. Now, I said, this brother is sitting here, uh, a Brother Branham, uh, should, um, do you think that uh, God would speak to me to tell him I believe God would speak right straight to him. Because, you know, God, we're not too big but what he can speak to us. He, he, he'll speak to us, all right. He just, uh, he'll speak to us. And I'll tell you, if he told me, then the brother might say, well, he told Brother Branham so, praise God. But you see, it ain't Brother Branham giving you the call. It's the Lord Jesus giving you the call, see. And if it's the Lord Jesus giving you the call, he'll do the speaking. See, I could speak to you to your ears. But when Christ calls you to the ministry, it's in your heart, see? That's where the thing has to anchor, and you can't get away from it. Now, I believe on the second question. Now, if there's any question on that, any question to it, see? That a man's call has to be in his heart, coming from God, and another brother, oh, I know who this is that wrote this, see? I know who wrote it, precious, dear, gracious brother, that I truly believe has a call of God. But I just, I wouldn't want him to do it up on mine. That's the reason I answered it the way I did. See, up on me saying, well, yes, uh, brother so-and-so ought to go into the ministry. See, now you say, brother Bram told me I ought to do that. See, and maybe what if something happened to brother Bram? I get killed or die or, or get away. Then, see, your calling is over then. But if Jesus calls you, brother, as long as there's an eternity, he'll still be ringing out, see and then you know where you're standing. Now, on the second, or something like this, knowing that it is the last day, I sure appreciate that for that brother. I certainly appreciate that of that brother, realizing that we're in the last day in the sincerity of his heart wanting to do something for Christ. The next one is, 